Oh hi guys, welcome back to Welsh B Sports and the latest Wrexham blog. Well I just want to talk about this week's Wrexham news and as I keep saying it's always big news now in Wrexham, it never ever stops. So I just want to talk about the latest news but I've been watching these vlogs back to see how I'm getting on and I do pull some faces don't I? I do pull some rum faces as if I've been possessed by evil of some kind. Sort of a mixture of Joe Cocker and the Exorcist. No? There are mountains in our way But we climb a step every day The power of Christ compels you The power of Christ compels you The power of Christ compels you. Love lift us up where we belong. Where the eagles cry on a mountain high. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The draw for the FA Cup has taken place and Wrexham have a brilliant tie. A really, really good draw for Wrexham. Yeovil a home, which it's a tasty tie for Wrexham. It's an easy tie on paper. They should win this. They should be in, league, in round three, you think, on paper. We hope not to jinx it. Yeovil away will be tricky. It will be awful. But at home, you expect Wrexham to do the business. You know, it's, it's, it's a favourable tie for Wrexham. And I'd be disappointed if they don't get through. They beat Mansfield last night, as we know. And, and that, was, that was a shit, shit draw. It pissed me off. Because the FA Cup, the glamour, the magic, or the so-called magic, what's left of it. Uh, you want a, a better tie. If you're going to get, you know, a disappointing team, if you like, Mansfield are in Wrexham's league, as we know. They played them a month ago. They're a good team, a tricky team. It's not the ideal tie if you want to progress. If you're going to go out, you want to go out at a big club, Bolton, Blackpool, Leighton Orient, you know, a big away day at a big, you know, a much bigger club. Not a team in your league that you played a month ago. That's why it was a crap tie. But and always going to be a tricky game. It was a difficult game, as we saw, in piss poor conditions, pissing down in Mansfield, very wet, you know, adding a bit of spice to it. But Wrexham were good value for the win. Goals from Dolby and Mullin, a lovely goal from Mullin, a corker of a goal from Sam Dolby to open the scoring. He could have had two or three. He has some really, really good chances. And as I tweeted out, you know, I watched the game at home on uh, S4C. As I tweeted out, I mean, Christy Pims in goal for Mansfield was pissing me off. He was making some bloody good saves when he had no business making them, did he? But Wrexham get through. I think they learnt from that game a month ago in the league where Mansfield, very, very organised, very difficult to break down. You know, they set up very well. And I think Wrexham, when they played, exploited some of the space better. They knew what to expect this time. They were more creative. And uh, when they upped the tempo and moved the ball well, they opened them up like a tin of beans. We saw that. We saw that with Dolby's goal and we saw that with several chances, several one-on-ones for Dolby, I think, you know, and, and a couple of others. Uh... But again, a good win. Mansfield offered very little in that first half. They had a great chance early on. But other than that, it was piss poor shots from outside the area. Multiple shots from outside of the area, which didn't really trouble Okonkwo, who, when he needed to be, particularly in the second half, was very switched on. He made a good save early on in the, in the first half. He was brilliant in the second half. Couldn't really do much about the goal. You know, I don't think. It was struck too, too well. But when Mansfield made it 2-1, you're thinking, oh God, here we go. Here we go, because Wrexham looked home and dry. 
they really were comfortable for most of that game. 2 0 up, perhaps against the run of play, because Mansfield were the better team perhaps in the second half as they chased chased a the goal. They got some better chances in the second half. Nothing really clear cut too often. Lots of half chances. A Quonko, you know, I mean, he, he, he kept them out. He did some decent saves. But when they went 2 0 up, you're thinking, that's it, game over. But for Mansfield to hit back almost straight away, you know, you're thinking, oh God, here we go, it's going to be a draw, it's going to be a bloody replay, it's going to be, a, you know, a waste of everyone's time, we're going to go out at the race course, it's going to just be pointless. But Wrexham hung on, and I said, overall, good value for the win, maybe they should have had a penalty, that was a penalty, wasn't it? That was a penalty in the first half, but good value for the win, Georgie Evans, Coming in again in defence, impressing me, which he hasn't done this season. I thought he's been a disappointment so far this season. But they've played him out of position. He's served, you know, he's he's been a valid contribution these last couple of games, playing out of position. Cannon, fantastic as well. He really was the engine yesterday. He's picked up an injury. Uh, Dolby. Looked really sharp. He seemed to have a great, great, great understanding with uh, with Mullin. Something that we hoped would happen. It's the first time this season that Dolby has really come alive and showing the form that he showed us at the end of last season. Where, ironically, you know, you know, oh, you know, yeah, at the end of last season, where you know he he he, he really did help Wrexham in those last ten games. And you expected him to fill in the void left by Mullin at the start of the season. He didn't quite do that. He didn't quite kick home. We expected more from Dolby. And it's the first time, I think, yesterday at Mansfield that we've really seen him, you know, firing. But we know he can do it. He's got the talent. He's got the ability. And like I said, his partnership with, with Mullin yesterday looked really nice. Some really good understanding, some good football, some good movement. And that's what's there. We just need to see more of it. There is this debate. Uh, who is the best, better Rexham's best strike force? Obviously, Fletcher is injured now. He's uh, had an operation on his knee. He's going to be out for a while. Many people think Fletcher should partner Mullin because of his quality, obviously, his experience. He's been everywhere. He's played at the highest level. But the injury has held him back. His age might hold him back. He hasn't been fit. He's made such a great impact off the bench. You know, starting him may have always been a mistake. And obviously, with the injury, that's proven to be the case. He's not been fit. He hasn't had the pre-season. And he's got the injury with his knee, which has now got so bad, they've had to operate on it. So Fletcher's going to be out for a while. We hope he comes back. He's, a, he's, he's so valuable to the squad. But it's a healthy squad with many options. And I still think, you know, no disrespect to Fletcher. You know, just, just keep chipping in. We don't want to be relying on Fletcher. We just need him for his quality, his experience, his professionalism to just contribute as he's been doing. But we wish Fletcher uh, all the best. I didn't go to Mansfield, as I said. I watched it on the telly. The crowd wasn't the best, but you can't, you can't blame that. You can't blame that. Again, the, the fixture, the time, the kickoff time was moved. I was working yesterday, so I, I probably couldn't have gone. But certainly if it kicks off three o'clock or whatever, I couldn't have gone. They move the kickoff time last minute. You don't know whether you're coming and going, do you? You know, it's all over the place, so you can't really organise your time. But, you know what I mean? <laughs> Another decent away crowd, but not a sellout. But you can't really blame them. That time of night on a Saturday, going to Mansfield where we went a month ago. But it is difficult to get tickets, So you know, most of the time. Either you can't, either they sell out or I just, I just can't go. So I'm struggling to go to away games at the moment for a variety of work and just can't get tickets. You, know, you try and get tickets for North County. And they've gone like that. You've got to be there, ready, poised, like, a, like an assassin, waiting in the grass, waiting to strike, because these tickets, they just fly out. But who buys them? 
who is available to go all the time, who's ready to buy them. You have to be organized to buy these tickets. And that's, I'm not organized, to be honest with you. But some people seem to always get them. Well, bastards like me miss out. But in work, a few people sold days. You speak to people in work and it's, uh, hey, North County Saturday, what a game. You know, it's going to be a great game, and it? You go in, oh yeah, well I was going, I had a ticket, but I sold it. What? Sell it to me. I'll buy it, sell it to me. Sell it to me. It's, I mean, a couple of people at work sold their tickets for North County. All right, Joe, hey, North County the weekend. What do you reckon? You go in, yeah, I was going, you know, I had a ticket, but I sold it. What? What do you mean you sold it? What do you mean you sold it? I'll murder the periods. Sell it to me. Sell it to me. You know? But what a rogering that was. I haven't had a chance to talk about that North County game properly. I did that video after the result. I watched the game at a pub in Wrexham, which will remain nameless because we don't want them raided, do we? By the flying squad. We don't want the Sweeney to raid pubs who are streaming Wrexham games. Big business down there. Everyone's loving it. Because there's going to be some bastard that spoils it for us all. You know, people can't go to the games. Then let's watch them. Let pubs have the business. Let people enjoy themselves. This is a brilliant time for Wrexham. Not just the club, but the town. Let's enjoy ourselves. But some bastard will spoil it for everyone, won't they? But I watched the game in a pub in Wrexham. Did that video afterwards. A bit crap. I'm not used to doing videos like that in the street. Not really my style, but I might start doing more. Because it's good to get a quick reaction. I like the chair. I like the desk. I like my chair and my desk. But I need to perhaps do more reactions on the phone. Particularly maybe when I've come from the race course. So we'll try and do more than that. But that video was shit that I did. Did okay views perhaps. But this is the first time I've been able to talk about the Doss County game properly. I did an interview with the Red Horde. Sean Driver last week. But... What a rogering that was. That was a rogering and a half. What a brilliant performance. Two brilliant away performances this last week. Last night against Manfield was a brilliant away performance. And Notts County was just the perfect away performance. And you could tell at half time. It was a good first half, although nil nil. There was a there was a tension there. There was, you know, an excitement. It was it was a nervy, nervy game, but good action at times. End to end stuff. Relatively open, but you could see that Wrexham were in it. You could see if Wrexham just step it up, they've got this. Because Notts County, as good as they are, very well organised, very slick at times. I don't think they quite have Wrexham squad. They have some great individual players, but Langstaff was poor again. He just doesn't do, he doesn't do it for me. He's not a Paul Mullin, is he? He hasn't got the all-round game that Mullin has. But that was... Uh, I mean, a sublime away performance. Struck at the right time. Waiting to pounce. That's what it felt like to me. Just stay in this game, stay in it, stay with them and just step her up. And that's what Wrexham can do. They can just step it up. They've got the creativity, they've got the individual talent. Wrexham's team is so strong now, the squad is strong. They've got options and these options are unpredictable. They're creative and they've got individual talent. That goal from Lee, a bit lucky. Because I think it came off toes as buttocks. Or there and thereabouts. You know, I'm not a doctor, but roughly the buttock area. But that's classic Elliot Lee. He picks up the ball, cuts inside, drives forward and lets rip. And you make your own luck. You make your own luck. But a brilliant, brilliant away performance. Again, they just started to dominate. They started to take over the game and they struck. Two quick goals and Notts County couldn't recover. What a fantastic, fantastic away, which should, that should be the start for Wrexham now in League Two. All the ups and downs, the dodgy starts, the, you know, the, the inconsistency, that win at Notts County should, should be the start of it. They can go for promotion now. They can go for promotion. Just a quick word on Wrexham's latest commercial partnership. Barks and Spencers have come on board as a, a corporate spot, pot, Corporate, a corporate partner for three years. Again, just shows you the appeal of Wrexham. The owners, Rob and Ryan, have done a brilliant festive advert. 
for Marks and Spencers. Really, 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 really good advert. I know Marks and Spencers have a crap advert going round. Forget that shit. The one with Robin Ryan is a proper Christmas advert. Magical, festive, enchanting, and just sums up Christmas. It sums up the owners, their talent, and their, you know, they have a laugh. They get involved and they love it. They love being involved and they love committing to their work. And obviously Marks and Spencer, considered a posh brand, you know, considered a bit of a posh brand, but it's a massive brand in the UK and it's a big, big deal. Shows you the appeal of Wrexham. It's not stopping, is it? It's just getting bigger and bigger. These corporate partnerships, these sponsorships, they just don't stop. It's getting bigger and bigger. And Marks and Spencer's is a big brand and that advert with Robin Ryan is just brilliant. Perfect, a brilliant Christmas advert. That's just a quick roundup from me, my ramblings, my thoughts. I'll see you on the next video.